Good morning, Oxford University Press. Welcome to Oxford University Press Canada, a branch of one of the world's most respected publishing houses. Oxford's British roots date back to 1478, and the Canadian office was the second after New York to be established outside the UK. Since then, Oxford's presence has grown to more than 50 locations around the world. Just as the press was born during the information technology revolution of the late 15th century, Oxford Canada is modernizing and flourishing in the early decades of the 21st century poised to continue making publishing history. A department of the University of Oxford, the press supports the university's mandate of advancing education, research and scholarship by publishing worldwide. In Canada, Oxford focuses on four key areas. College and university textbooks, elementary and secondary educational resources from kindergarten to grade 12, trade and reference works for the general reader, and English language training where Oxford resources play a key role in helping new immigrants learn English and settle in Canada. ESL books in Canada play a, a huge role. I mean, our, Canada, our country has uh, grown from immigrants. I think uh, even today we still have 250,000 newcomers that come to Canada every year. Being able to help by uh, providing books that help people learn English is uh, really key for, for uh, the newcomers that come to Canada. Oxford maintains an extensive in-house editing team as well as close relationships with instructors, authors and learning institutions. Well, good morning. Can I please speak with Kelly Campbell if she's available? Thank you. Today, more than half of Oxford's revenues come from titles written, edited and produced right here in Canada. But Oxford Canada is also proud to represent fundamental works of scholarship like the Oxford English Dictionary and the Dictionary of National Biography as well as others produced by teams of editors and researchers in Oxford itself. My name is Phyllis Wilson and I've been with Oxford uh, for almost 45 years. One of my first jobs when I came was walking in the door and they were doing the Oxford Companion to Canadian History and Literature. Uh, the first edition of one of the really big companion books that we did here. Such iconic reference works are emblematic of Oxford's publishing leadership, leadership grounded in 500 years of history. As we enter the new millennium second decade, Oxford University Press Canada embarks on a new chapter in its history. Oxford Canada is modernizing and flourishing in the 21st century. We've had a great last hundred years and I'm sure the next hundred years are going to be even better. Beginning with a move to state-of-the-art facilities, Oxford Canada steps forward into the modern age, making use of wireless technologies and high-tech communication tools, both to enhance interaction with the company and better engage with our customers. Twitter and Facebook as just two examples. We have about 514 followers. Um, we're on 43 lists, which is mostly university presses um, and our publishers as well. Oxford's new Canadian warehouse will enjoy closer proximity to major retail distributors like Chapters Indigo and Amazon. This warehouse is 26,000 square feet. We've got four working doors, four uh, dock leveler doors at the back, which, which eases our, our, our waiting time for traffic coming in and out. We have a large drive-in door, which allows us for uh, large shipments coming in, particularly when we moved in. The large uh, equipment in the back, we couldn't, get it, we couldn't get it out of the other building. This way we're allowed to with, with the amount of height that we've got. We do have 30 feet clear here, which allows us great stacking ability. We had that same at Winford, but uh, we need that in a, in a building here in order to, to get the racking and the, and the stacking height, so that's very helpful. And Oxford's move to the shops at Don Mills from its offices at 70 Winford, its home since 1963, is but the first in a series of major initiatives slated for 2010 and beyond. Uh, we not only have room to expand in this facility, it's laid out in a much more efficient way, which means we're going to be able to drive much more business through the facility. Also, we have a much better cost base up here. We're in one of the areas of the GTA that's really a center for logistics distribution. Easy to get trucks in and out, close to the airport, close to our major customers. Um, and all of that is, is really working well to, to let us move the branch forward to where we want to be, to move the 21st century. Recognizing the centuries of tradition that make it more than just another publisher, Oxford embraces modernity as a springboard from which to redefine its role and influence around the world, 
and here at home. Twitter and Facebook enables us to speak to our audience directly. Uh, we can answer questions. Sometimes we get people who are looking for review copies of our books. Um, so we'll sort of chat offline about that. I think it's really important to stay connected almost on an immediate basis with our audience. I definitely see a huge potential with something like Twitter and uh, using that to our maximum potential. For us, leadership means producing the very best in books and educational resources. But leadership also means giving back to the community, to our country, our planet. Oxford University Press holds an annual book sale in support of world literacy and again this December we uh, held a sale and it were very successful and raised $22,500 in support of that cause. Working with World Literacy Canada, Oxford has helped raise more than $200,000 to foster literacy programs overseas and right here in Toronto. The net proceeds from the sale go to support World Literacy's projects uh, both here in Canada, including in the Flemington Park neighbourhood where we are now, as well as overseas in India. In South Africa, Oxford operates in partnership with the Mandela Rhodes Foundation, using education to overcome the lingering legacy of apartheid. And each year the press invests millions of dollars in scholarships that bring the best and the brightest from around the world to carry out graduate studies at the university and millions more to underwrite groundbreaking work in everything from climate change to cancer research. Welcome to a new era for Oxford University Press Canada, continuing to define publishing excellence and embarking on a fresh new chapter in publishing history. We've always been a world-class company, but now I think this, this space really shows that off. We're moving into uh, you know, a new era for Oxford, uh, Oxford Canada and Oxford generally, I think.